I was much encouraged by this morning's message. 오늘 아침 기별을 통해 제가 많은 격려를 받았습니다. 모든 창조에 있어서 모든 것들은 자체적으로 회복을 하도록 그렇게 디자인되었다는 것을 알았습니다. 제가 베델에 있는 동안에 그 간증들을 들으면서 큰 격려를 받았습니다. 여러분이 가지고 계신 그 책의 일부의 내용이 거기 들어있는 걸로 제가 알고 있습니다. And one of the things when I first heard it kind of shocked me is people would actually say, I am so thankful for my cancer. 사실 사람들이 나중에 내가 내 암으로 인해서 너무 감사하게 생각한다라는 이런 고백을 하는 것을 들었을 때 너무 충격을 받았습니다. But they would say, I'm so thankful that I have this illness. 사람들이 제가 처음에 듣고 깜짝 놀랐는데 사람들이 내가 이러한 경험을 갖게 됐다는 것에 대해 감사한다. It was the very thing that led them to know God in their heart. 왜냐하면 바로 그걸로 인해서 그들이 하나님을 알게 되었기 때문이었습니다. I heard that and I just thought that changes everything if you understand that. If we understand, 만약 우리가 그걸 이해하게 된다면 우리가 가지고 보는 세상의 관점이 많은 것이 바뀌게 됩니다. 제가 간단하게 광고 말씀드릴 게 있습니다. One of them is that we do ask that the mobile phones be turned on silent. 우리가 여러분에게 핸드폰을 가지고 오신 분들 이거를 볼륨을 꺼달라고 이렇게 부탁을 했습니다. 근데 우리가 앞으로는 한 단계 더한 단계 더 요청을 할 생각입니다. 이렇게 조용한다 할지라도 그 핸드폰으로 인해서 여러분이 방해받지 않게 되기를 원합니다. 그걸 꺼놓는 시간에 아예 사용하지 마시기를 바랍니다. 만약에 그것이 어렵다면 아예 그거를 전화기를 방에 놔두고 가지고 오지 마시기를 바랍니다. One other thought I thought I should share before we begin. I wanted to make mention of our Korean to English translator. He doesn't um, ask me to say this, but I just wanted to say that Pastor Kevin Chung has been a Tremendous blessing for his willingness to come and do the translation for us. Ah, this is why. He is a Canadian citizen. He was born and grew up originally in in Korea. He was born and grew up originally in Korea. But he and his family have been self-sacrificing missionaries. They have worked in some very difficult places. Including China and Russia. And we are amazed and we are thankful that he has agreed to help with the Bethel ministry and to help with the translation work. He's not seeking recognition, but we just want to thank God for his willingness to serve this work. We would not have heard the message if it wasn't for his translation. 
คือว่าทั้งวิทยาการที่เราเรียนมาช่วยก็เป็นการยากที่จะสื่อสารความเข้าใจให้พวกเรามากยิ่งขึ้น So again, reminding you that at the end of the message, just take a few moments to think about what you heard today. Kibyeol, Masumi Chonye, 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 ทุกอย่างที่เราใช้เวลาในการพูดคุยกันในการพูดคุยกันในการพูดคุยกันในการพูดคุยกันในการพูดคุยกันในการพูดคุยกันในการพูดคุยกันในการพูดคุยกันในการพูดคุยกันในการพูดคุยกันในการพูดคุยกันในการพูดคุยกันในการพูดคุยกันในการพูดคุยกันในการพูดคุยกันในการพูดคุยกันในการพูดคุยกันในการพูดคุยกันในการพูดคุยกัน Our needs, God already prepared. 우리가 어떤 상황에 처하든지 해결해 주시지 못할 일이 그분에게는 없습니다. Doesn't matter what circumstances we are in, there's nothing He cannot resolve for us. 그래서 죄와 죽음이 들어오기 전에 이미 구원이 준비되어 있었다고 했습니다. So I told you this morning, even before sin and sickness come to us. God already prepared healing and removing of the sin problem. Yeah, 우리 몸에 병이 생기기 이전부터 우리 몸 안에 자연 치유력이 있다고 하는 것을 말씀드렸습니다. I shared with you this morning, even before sickness came into our body, God already prepared the healing power set in in our body. 그런데 우리가 왜 이렇게 죽게 되고 병 걸리게 되는가 하는 그 원인을 말씀드렸습니다. But why we are becoming sick and why we die, I explained the cause of that this morning. 그리고 우리가 어떻게 할 때에 다시 회복할 수 있는지도 말씀드렸습니다. And also I shared how we can recover from that. 다 이해하고 계십니까? I hope that you have understanding on that part. 아무도 이해 못 하시나요? It seems nobody understood. <웃음> 분명하게 네. 설명됐다. 네. 아, 근데 우리 몸이 회복되지 못하는 것, 우리가 영생을 얻지 못하는 것은 우리에게 문제가 있다는 것입니다. Uh, why then we cannot recover? Uh, why we are suffering from sickness is our problem. The problem is in us. So God is telling us to recover our health. God is suggesting us, let us work together. Let us co-work. And that cooperation is 하나님의 주신 것을 받아들일 수 있는 믿음 관계입니다. That is the relationship that when God offer, we accept it by faith. 그래서 우리의 믿음이 필요하다고 했습니다. 우리의 믿음이? 네, 우리의 믿음이 필요하다고 했습니다. That's why we need our faith toward God. 야, 무엇을 믿을 것인가? Then what should we believe? 하나님이 계신 것을 믿어야 합니다. We should believe that there is God. 그분이 우주와 나를 창조하신 분인 것을 믿어야 합니다. He is the one who created the whole universe and me. 그리고 그분이 주시는 것을 받는 믿음 가진 자에게 가장 좋은 것을 그분은 또한 주십니다. And those who have faith in Him, God will provide the best things for them. 우리는 그분이 주시는 것을 받기 위하여 믿음이 필요한 것입니다. To receive what He is giving to us. To receive that, we need to have faith. 그 하나님은 말씀으로 만물을 창조하셨습니다. God, when He was created the whole thing, whole universe, He created by word. 그리고 그분은 지금 우리에게 필요한 모든 것을 말씀으로 주십니다. And also, all the things we need, God provides for us through His word. 그럼 우리의 믿음은 그분이 하신 말씀을 믿는 것입니다. Then our faith is believing His word. 
그분의 말씀을 믿는다는 것은 그 믿음으로 말씀을 마음에 받아들인다는 것입니다. Receiving his word that means we receive his word in our heart and live life. 그 말씀이 우리의 마음의 기관이 머리에 들어오게 되면 when the word comes and registered recorded in our brain 우리의 말과 생각과 행동이 말씀을 일, 어, 행하게 됩니다. Then our words and our actions all will uh, do the work. Our body will do the work because it's recorded in our brain. 그렇게 사는 것이 올바른 신앙 생활입니다. And the way we live life like that is right way of believing and uh, uh, having faith. 네. 우리가 병드는 것은 잘못된 생활 습관 때문이라고 말씀드렸습니다. I shared with you that the reason why we are sick is because of our wrong habits of life. 그래서 우리는 잘못된 생활에서 올바른 생활로 바꿔야 합니다. So we need to change from our wrong habits of life to the right habits of life. 네, 그 올바른 생활이 바로 신앙 생활입니다. And the right habits of life is believing in God. 신앙 생활은 곧 하나님을 믿고 그 말씀에 순종하는 삶입니다. And right habits of life is believing in God and we live or uh, uh, obeying his word and live life. 네, 간단하게 여기까지 지금까지 강의를 요약했습니다. And what I have been telling you so far is the summary of what I have been sharing so far. 네, 좀 복습이 됐습니까? I hope that uh, you have uh, this summary uh, in your brain. 네, 중요한 것은 여러분들이 제가 하는 얘기를 이해를 해야 된다는 것입니다. The important part is when I uh, share with you, you need to understand what I'm talking about. You have to recognize it so that you can obey. People cannot be moved by uh, compelling and forcing them. Uh, we have to understand and we should be able to choose. 자, 그러면 이제 우리의 생활로 돌아가겠습니다. Now, um, Inviting you back to our life. 자, 병이라고 하는 것은 어, 치료하는 것보다 예방이 더 중요합니다. The sickness is uh, way better when we can prevent before, uh, after we uh, instead of healing. 그리고 병이 생겼을 경우에는 병원으로 찾아가야 합니다. And when we are sick, then we need to go to the hospital. 병원에 가서 우리는 검사를 받고 진찰을 받고 진단을 받아야 됩니다. When we go to the hospital, then we are diagnosed and see what is going on, what's wrong with our body. 그리고 어떤 경우에는 병원의 의사의 손길을 통해서 큰 도움을 받아야 합니다. And some occasions that we'll have a, we can have a good, big help through the doctor's hands. 네, 반드시 전문가의 지시와 도움을 받을 필요가 있는 게 환자입니다. There is a need for patients that we need to have help from the expert. 그래서 예수님께서도 환자에게는 의원이 필요하다고 하셨죠. That's why Jesus mentioned that uh, sick people need doctor. 네, 우리가 병들었을 때 병원에 가는 것은 이거는 믿음을 부인하는 것이다라고 생각하는 것은 잘못된 생각입니다. Uh, some people think that when we are sick and if we go to the hospital and ask doctors is wrong and that is a that's a wrong. 네, 그런데, that thought is wrong. 그런데 중요한 것은요. But important part is 네, 우리 몸에 병이 생겼을 때 when we become sick 의사가 해줄 일이 있고 내가 내 몸을 위하여 할 일이 있습니다. There is a work that doctors can do and there's also there's a, there are works that I need to do for my health. 자, 다시 말씀드리면 uh, say, I'm saying that once again. 우리가 하나님의 말씀대로 올바른 생활을 한다면 건강하게 살수 있습니다. When we live life according to the word of God then we can have a healthy life. 아, 이것은 많은 병을 예방하는 생활입니다. Because this life Life is preventing of sickness from our life. 그런데 우리가 어떻게 잘못해서 병이 생겼다고 합시다. But somehow, because of our uh, uh, 
living life wrong, we have this sickness. 네, 그럴 때는 병원으로 찾아가야 되겠죠. Then we need to go to the hospital. 근데 병원의 의사가 정확하게 진단하고 정확하게 치료를 해주면 큰 도움을 받습니다. Of course, when we go to the hospital and with the doctor, uh, exactly, accurately diagnose and give prescription, then that can be a big help. 그래서 우리는 좋은 병원을 찾아야 하고 좋은 의사를 만나는 게참 중요합니다. So we need to find a good hospital and good doctor is very important. 아, 그런데 우리가 병원에 가서 의사의 도움을 잘 받았다 할지라도 but even though we have a big help from a good hospital and good doctor 의사가 해줄 일이 있고 there is something that doctor can do 내 몸을 위해서 내가 할 일이 있는 것입니다. There's a work for my body. I, there's a work that I have to do. 네, 우리가 여기서 배우는 것은 바로 내가 할 일을 배우고 있는 것이에요. What we are learning from this program is what I should do for my body. 자, 의사가 하는 일을 무시하는 게 아니고 We are not disregarding what the doctors are doing. 네, 의사의 도움이 필요하겠지만 There could be doctor's help in certain area. 내가 내몸 관리를 잘못하면 의사가 준 도움이 별로 효력을 못 나타냅니다. If we are, if I'm not taking care of the body, my body, uh, then even though doctor try to give big help, it doesn't work. 네, 예를 들면, uh, 암이, example, 암이 걸렸을 때 수술을 하는 게 도움이 될 수도 있습니다. When we have a cancer, then have a surgery can be a help. 근데 수술을 성공적으로 잘 했다 할지라도 even though the surgery was very successful 내 생활이 잘못되면 여전히 암이 또 생깁니다. If my life is wrong and I'm living continuously with the wrong habits of life then the cancer will come back and come back and come back. 그러기 때문에 의사가 의사의 일을 정확하게 해줬다 할지라도 even though the doctor did his part very well 네, 내몸 관리를 내가 할줄 알아야 합니다. I need to know how to take care of my body. 제가 미국에서 만난 환자인데요. Uh, I met a patient in America. 이분은 위암 초기 수술을 받고 온 환자였어요. This patient was uh, early stage of stomach cancer. 네, 아주 성공적으로 수술이 잘 되었답니다. The, the surgery was very successful. 암이 초기였기 때문에 재발도 없고 전이도 없었습니다. 아, 재발이 아니라 전이가 안 됐습니다. Because uh, this uh, cancer patient was in his early stage, so there was a, no uh, spreading, no metastasis happened uh, in his body yet. 네, 그런데 수술한 자리가 암을지를 않았습니다. 회복이 But, 안 됐어요. Strangely, the, the, the place where they had the operation, that part was not, uh, so, not healed up, not dried up. 일주일이 가고, 이주가 가고, 삼주가 가도 회복이 되지 않았어요. One week passed, two weeks passed, and three weeks passed, still it was not healing. 어, 여기 실로 끼워놓은 자리가 자꾸 터져 나오기 시작하고 고름이 나오기 시작했어요. The place where they sewed it up with a thread, it was a keep on uh, just uh, not healed and just keep on uh, bursting open and uh, oozing out. 어, 그래서 이 사람이 어, 실제로 수술 회복이 안 돼서 이제 죽을 지경이 됐습니다. So uh, this person was a really it became a serious condition because it's not being healed. 근데 제가 그때 뉴욕에 가서 이 건강 세미나 할때 이분이 참여하게 됐어요. Uh, that time I was holding a meeting in New York and he came to attend the meeting. 아, 이분이 와서 첫날부터 과일 식사를 하기 시작했어요. As soon as he came, he began to participate with the fruit fasting. 아, 과일 식사를 한 4일, 5일 하고 지나가는데 이게 아물어지기 시작했습니다. Uh, since he began fruit fasting about 4 or 5 days passed and it began, began healing. 일주일 좀 지나니까 이게 이제 붓기 시작했어요. And about a week passed and it was really uh, sewed up and, and dried up. Yeah, to dry. 한 10일 정도 되니까 한 질이 나왔습니다. And about 10 days passed and it was totally healed. 네, 더 이상 염증이 생기지 않았습니다. There's no more inflam uh, inflammation. 네, 실을 뽑고 수술 so 자리가 아물어뜨렸습니다. And it was all healed up. 여러분 몸에 염증이 일어날 때 When there is an inflammation in your body, 수술 후유증으로 고생할 때, when people are suffering from after surgery, 네, 황생제를 사용해도 잘 듣지 않을 때, especially when they uh, use um, antibiotics and it doesn't really work, 이런 염증이 생기는 음식을 다 끊어야 됩니다. 
you have to stop all the food that is causing this inflammation. When we apply fasting to these people, the healing is a lot faster. And when those people are too weak, then we provide the food fasting. And drink water. And just uh, uh, eating fruit and three, three meals a day, just eating fruit. And in between, just drinking water. And a few days go like that, then the causing of inflammation is all uh, cut off. Patients can go to the hospital and have surgery. But the after operation uh, somehow is not being healed, then if you apply this method that I just shared with you, then it will heal instantly. Of course, this one not only apply for the surgery, whether there is a cancer, there's an inflammation, there's a, a, a stickiness of blood, a hardening of uh, artery, all these things, if you apply this way, then it all helps our blood to be clean so the recovery will be fast. So we need to keep on providing food that will help uh, our blood to be clean. And we should be able to go outside where there is a sun and exercise and have a peace in mind and go to bed early. If we do the part that we must do for our body, if we do that, 하나님께서 말씀하신 대로의 생활을 우리가 바르게 하면 if we do according to what God instructed us if we follow that 우리 몸에 생긴 문제는 몸이 해결을 하게 돼 있습니다. then any problem happens in our body our body itself will deal with it. 자 그래서 병원의 의사가 수술을 잘 했다 할지라도 even though in the hospital the doctor did a very successful surgery. If I don't take care of my body properly, even though the doctor did his part best, still we cannot have the benefit full in our body. So the, the man who had the all not healed up, 그래서 그 부부가 왔었는데 장로교의 집사였어요, 두 부부가. These two people were um, uh, they were Presbyterian Church uh, deaconess, yeah. deacons and deaconess. 그런데 우리 재림 교회가 가지고 있는 이 건강 기별과 세천사 기별을 그들이 받아들이기 시작했어요. And when they were healed, they experienced, they began to accept uh, the Seventh Day Adventist Church Three Angels message and health message. 아, 바로 여기 이게 진리가 있구나. 아, right here there is a truth. 아, 나는 우리 교회를 그렇게 오래 다녔는데 왜 이런 거 하나도 몰랐지? I have been attending my church for a long time, but I never heard this kind of thing. 아, 나는 창세기 1장 29절에서 하나님이 먹으라는 음식이 이렇게 중요한 줄 몰랐네. I didn't realize that in Genesis 1, 29, God told us what to eat, and I never paid attention to this. 예, 그 부부가 그 집회를 마치면서 침례를 받았습니다. That couple, when they, when we were finishing the meeting, they decided to be baptized. In that meeting, there were three, 23 people decided to be baptized. Right now, this man became elder of our Seventh-day Adventist Church. Of course, when he went back to his hospital and uh, checked, uh, checked it out, or he was absolutely normal uh, to live a normal life, there was no problem. Right now, he is in the church, in our Adventist church. He is uh, serving many people, uh, many sick people, for them to, heal, to be healed. When he was, um, just before baptism, he gave uh, the testimony to the people. 
아, 자기가 태어나서 지금까지 먹은 돼지 고기를 먹은 것이 돼지 세 마리는 먹었답니다. Uh, from his birth, uh, he was uh, just counting roughly and probably the amount of pork meat that he ate probably about at least uh, uh, three huge pigs. 아, 아버지로부터 돼지를 잡아가지고 어, 먹기 시작했대요. Because, uh, because of his father, he loved the pork meat, so he ate a lot of pork meat. 근데 성경에는 돼지고기를 먹지 말라고 했고요. But in the Bible specifically, it says we should not eat the pork. 엘렌 화인 여사는 돼지고기를 먹으면 몸에 염증이 생긴다고 했고요. And Ellen J. White mentioned that when we eat pork meat, it causes inflammation in our body. 더운 지역에서 돼지고기를 많이 먹으면 문둥병이 생긴다고도 되어 있습니다. Even in a hot area, hot countries, when people eat a lot of pork meat, then there will be even lepers will be made. 우리 몸에 생기는 대부분의 질병은 죽은 고기를 먹음으로 생긴다고 되어 있습니다. A large portion of the sickness in our body is made because of we ate a dead flesh of animal. 특히 엘렌즈 화이트는 돼지의 세포 조직은 기생충으로 분비 되어 있다 그랬어요. Ellen J. White even mentioned the cells of the pork meat is, is a, a saturated with a, a parasites. 아마 여기 계신 우리 재림 교인들은 돼지고기 안 드실 것입니다. I hope that uh, our Adventist people here would not eat the pork meat. 예, 성경에 보면 돼지고기는 특별히 부정한 짐승으로 하나님이 금하신 것이고요. Especially in the Bible, the pork meat is uh, uh, mentioned as a specifically very unclean. 아, 그리고 어, 정결하다고 일시적으로 준 동물이라 할지라도 그것은 우리 몸에 도움이 되는 건 아닙니다. Even though in the Bible it allows as a clean animal, uh, that does not help our, for our health. I'm going to share more information tomorrow about it. Uh, today, what I really want you to know is there is something that doctor can do and there is something that we must do for our body. 그래서 우리는 내 몸을 관리하는 법을 알아야 합니다. That's why we must understand how we take care of our body ourselves. 바로 몸 관리하는 법을 가르쳐 주는 게 건강 강의를 하는 것이에요. How to uh, take care of our body and, and teaching that is how uh, what the health lecture should be. 그런데 건강 기별이 다 하나님의 말씀의 기별이라는 것입니다. But this whole health message is from the word of God. 그래서 우리가 하나님 말씀을 잘 배워야 합니다. That's why we need to uh, very attentively, meditatively listen to the word of God. 예, 이번에 이 세미나에 참석하신 여러분은 매 시간 시간마다 잘 듣고 배워야 합니다. All of you who came for this uh, session, you need to pay full attention and learn really carefully and well what is being taught here. 예, 그걸 잘 배우고 가시라고 우리 마이크가 아까 나와서 여러분 어 핸드폰 가지고 오지 말라고 그러죠. For you, so that you can really listen carefully and understand. That's why Mike was mentioning, making an announcement that you should not bring your handphone here. 왜냐면 여러분이 강의 시간에 핸드폰 자꾸 보고 있었고 문자 보내고 문자 보고 이러면 안 되죠. Because if you are, you came here, but if you hold the handphone in your hand and keep on sending messages and looking at that, and you cannot pay full attention. 여러분 지금 정신을 바짝 차리고 들어야 됩니다. Because even though you pay full attention, still you may miss some portion. How can you learn without listening carefully? How can you practice and apply in your life without learning? Don't worry about the misfortune and your sickness you have. As I mentioned it, is already all resolved it. You have the problem already has an answer for it. 
If we accept the word of God carefully and well, 그 말씀이 우리의 마음을 치료하고, that will come and heal our mind, 우리 인간관계를 해결해주고, and resolve our human relationship, 우리의 생활을 바꾸게 되고, and it will cause us to change our lifestyle, 먹고 마시는 것이 다르게 되고, and our eating and drinking methods will be changed. 병원 저절로 몸에서 몸이 치료하기 때문에 병원 사라집니다. Because our body heals itself, so this sickness will be chased out of our body. So, what kind of sickness, how to deal with, is not the answer. 근데 여러분들에게 상담을 해서 이렇게 물을 마시세요, 과일식을 하세요 하는 이런 것들은. But when we have a consultation and I uh, uh, tell you that you need to drink and you need to eat fruit and eat these things. 또 죽을 먹으세요, 또 밥을 먹으세요. Uh, you need to have a healthy diet or you need to have a rice uh, soup or. 뭐 올리브 기름 뭘 먹으세요 이런 uh, 얘기. You need to take olive oil, you need charcoal, all these things. 이것은 몸을 치료하기 위해서 하는 게 아니고. This is not for healing of your body. 몸이 스스로 일할 수 있도록 몸을 도와주는 방법이거든요. This is a method of helping your body so that your body can work itself. 네, 병은 몸이 고치는 것이고. Uh, the sickness will be dealt with our body. 마음의 행동, 아, 몸의 행동은 마음이 정하는 것이고. Our body is dealt by our mind. 마음에는 하나님의 말씀의 가르침이 들어와야 되지요. And in our mind, God's word has to come in. 하나님이 우리 마음의 말씀으로 임하십니다. Uh, it, God's word come into our uh, our body through our mind, our brain. 우리 마음이 하나님의 말씀을 받아들이면. When our heart accept God's word. 마음에 들어온 하나님의 말씀은 우리 몸을 움직이게 합니다. The word that came into our heart will cause our body to move at 그래, work. 예, 그렇게 할 때에 몸이 몸에 있는 문제들을 처리하게 돼 있습니다. Then uh, spontaneously the problems in our body will be dealt with. 그래서 몸에 있는 변질된 세포는 정상으로 바꿔줍니다. So all the uh, changed cells in our body will be turned into normal cells. 몸에 쌓여 있는 노폐물은 다 밀어냅니다. All the waste accumulated in our body will be pushed out of our body. 네, 몸에 뭔가 부족한 것들은 전부 다 충전해서 회복시켜 줍니다. All the things that is uh, lacking, uh, then our body will be all uh, refilled or uh, uh, filling in uh, through the food that we are taking. 그래서 하나님이 우리 몸을 관리하시는 거죠. So, God is the one who is taking care of our whole health. 그래서 몸이 몸을 치료하는 것은 So when our body uh, works to heal its own body 결과적으로 하나님이 우리를 치료하시는 것이 되는 것입니다. As a result, in the end, God is healing our body. 이해하셨습니까? I hope you understand this point. 깨달으셨어요? Do you really understand this? 배가 고파서 잘안 들립니까? Because you are hungry, cannot understand. <웃음> 다 이해되셨죠? Are you Are you really with me? 네. 아, 하나님이 병을 고쳐 주신다는 말은 많이 하지만. Many people talk about God heals our sickness. 또 환자를 위해서 하나님께 병 고쳐 달라고 기도는 하지만. And also, many people pray to God to heal our sickness. But there are many people who never experience God's healing actually in their body. If you want God to deal with our problem in our body, 하나님께 우리 문제를 내놓고 도와달라고 기도 믿음의 기도를 한다면, if we really give our problem to God and pray with a prayer of faith, 그 기도가 응답이 되려면, if we want to have an answer for that prayer, 반드시 우리가 할 일이 있습니다. Then and there is some work that we must do. And that is, we must obey the word of God. 그렇게 할때 하나님이 응답하실 수 있으십니다. Then at that time, God can respond to our problem. 그분은 그분이 세우신 법칙을 그분이 무너뜨리고 일하시지 않기 때문에. Because 
God already set His work, His principle in our body, and God cannot break that principle. 네, 그분은 의로우신 분입니다. Because God is a righteous God. 그분은 공의로우신 분이기 때문에. God is a God of justice. 그분이 세운 법을 무너뜨리고 일하지 않습니다. God never works with the breaking of His law. 네, 그분은 불법으로 행하지 않으십니다. God never works with the uh, 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 illegally. God always works according to the law. All things that work according to the law is righteousness. If you open your, your book, uh, English material, uh, 65, page 65, uh, there is a, a story of a patient. In person, um, uh, it was. Uh, In person, um, how to do that? Okay. Uh, it was um, lymph, uh, lymphoma and tonsil cancer. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, here's a page, page 65 of this book. Uh, that is a patient's testimony. And it was an experience of this patient who came to our Bethel Sanitarium. After this lecture, I, I recommend you to read this story, this testimony carefully. When this patient came to our sanitarium, on, on, uh, on her neck, there was like a big balloon uh, that lymphoma cancer was attached. And also in her chest there were several. And also on her arm. There was a, a part of the cancers all showing so big. Uh, this patient came from China. Uh, this uh, patient was very high positioned in the Chinese communi Communist Party. Yeah, in this story, you will read that uh, she was explaining her, her position very uh, detailed. Uh, when this patient came, what she was experiencing and through what processes she healed and in the process of what happened, I want you to know that. When she came to Bethel, she came to the very front seat. Uh, as I shared with you, uh, up until about two years ago, I was able to see people 예, 앞자리에 앉아서 이 강의를 듣는 태도가 너무너무 진지했어요. Uh, the attitude that she had when she came to the very front and, and listening to the lectures was very unique. 예, 이 말씀이 이 길을 통해서 이 마음에 다 와서 저장이 됐어요. I could tell the word is going uh, through her brain and it registered and it was a, her whole body was responding to that. 그래서 그 강의를 하다 보면 눈물을 막딱 씁니다. 딱, 딱, 딱. As I was lecturing, I could constantly see that she was wiping away her tears. If I read the Bible and she read the Bible, follow along, and she again she wiping away her tears. That shows that there's a something is happening with her. Uh, when she came, I ordered a fruit fasting, so I'm sure that she was quite hungry. But I could tell when she was weeping, it was not because she was hungry, she was weeping. Uh, something was happening from deep within, I could tell. When I finish lecturing and then as I go out, then she comes and she just comes and hugged me. 
And she weeps. 오늘 내가 한 가지 해결했습니다. She said, often, today I resolved the one thing. 뭐 했다고요? I said, what, what did you do? 내가 오늘 한 가지 해결했습니다. I said, I, today I resolved the one matter. 네, 자기가 가지고 있던 문제가 해결되었다는 것입니다. She was telling me that her problem she had was resolved on that day. 하나님 말씀이 들어오면 그게 답입니다. When the word of God comes into her, that was the answer. 아, 이거구나, 바로 이거였구나. She understood. Ah, this is it. This was the the answer. 그러고 다음 날또 강의하고 나가면 또 눈물 줄줄. And the next day, I was uh, I lectured, and I, as I was going out, and she was weeping again. 한 일주일 좀 되니까 사무실에 찾아왔어요. About a week later, she came to the office. 저다 해결했습니다. She said, "I resolved all things." 그 뭡니까? So I said, "What is it?" 나는 내 딸하고의 갈등이 있다. I have been struggling with my daughter. 딸하고 사이하고 같이 살았는데. I was living with my daughter and and uh, uh, son-in-law. 아, 여러분들이 하는 일이 마음에 안 들었어. I didn't like what they were doing. 아, 개심하기 시작했어. I didn't like that at all. 아, 네. 따라고 싸우고. So every day she was fighting with 어, his daughter. 하고 싸우고. And with her son-in-law she fought. fought. 아, 그랬답니다. She did that every day. 그래서 제가 그러면 딸 사이는 내 보내지 왜 같이 살았냐 그래. So I asked her, why then did you send them out? Why did you live with them? 근데 그런 입장이 못 됐답니다. She said, well, they were not in the situation to do that. But she was receiving so much stress, so that's why she had uh, this, uh, so many cancers in her body. Even though uh, she was attending church, but she didn't know God. 예, 뭘 먹고 뭐 어떻게 살아야 되는지 몰랐습니다. She had no idea what she should eat and what she should not eat. How to live? She had no idea. 예, 딸과 사회와의 그런 갈등 생활을 긴 생활을 했지만 그 해결할 수 없었습니다. Even though they, she was in a struggle and agony with a uh, relationship with the daughter and son-in-law, she didn't know how to resolve it. 왜냐면 너희들이 잘못돼서. Because she was keep on thinking, you are wrong. 자기 문제를 해결하지 아니하고. Without solving her own problem. 이 불편한 관계가. In this uncomfortable relationship, she always thought this is their problem. You are wrong. You need to change it. You are bad people. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, unjustly criticized. I, I didn't do anything wrong. Because of that thought, she was always a very hostile against her daughter and son-in-law. Because of that, she had received a lot of stress. If we receive a lot of stress, then there will be a lot of um, uh, radicals and we, uh, our cancers in our body will grow really well. And as, as uh, people do more and more tests in the hospital, the healing will be disturbed more and more. Because uh, she was uh, so weak, even though the anti-cancer drugs were not working. So she somehow heard through the uh, news of other people, and she came all the way from China all the way to Korea, Bethel. When she came to Bethel, there was a no medicine to deal with her cancer. Only I provide two kinds of food. One kind of food was prepared in the kitchen with a healthy diet. And the second food is in the morning and in the evening. The word of God is what we share. People are to eat these two kinds of food in the right way. First of all, we need to eat the word of God. 그리고 하나님이 하나님의 말씀이 말씀하신 그 음식을 또 먹어야 합니다. And also we need to eat what the word of God points that we should eat. We need to eat that food. 
When people come to Bethel, that's why we constantly instruct the people. Uh, even you who came to this seminar, you need to eat these two types of food. First, if you receive the word of God carefully and well, 하나님의 말씀이 먹으라고 하는 건강식을 지금 부엌에서 요리해서 또 여러분에게 먹여 드릴 것입니다. Then uh, the word of God points to what kind of food that we should prepare and eat. That kind of food will be prepared in the kitchen and provide for you. 그리고 우리가 물 마시고 공기 마시고 운동하고 잠자고 하루 일과를 천연계 법칙에 따라 지금 하고 있습니다. And we eat and we drink water and we exercise and we go to bed and through the nature that God prepared, through that we are living life here. Is it too difficult for you to do, or is it simple enough? Can you do this? Do you think it costs a lot of money? You have to import from another country with a high cost? Do you need to do cut off part of your body and, and dangling so many uh, bags and, and carrying around these kind of things? You eat well and play and exercise well and sleep well. Then the problem disappears. According to what you learn, and eat and live life. Learn and live. Receive the word of God in heart and with that, live daily life. This is things that we can do from little child to old person. We all can do. But this simple life is not done right. That's why we are suffering from sickness. You read that testimony carefully. See how one month passed and what happened to that person. This balloon sized cancer became little, like a little uh, bird egg. 그리고 절 보고 이 가슴에 있는 걸 만져보려 해서 보니까 가슴에 혹이 없어졌어요. One month later, she she asked me touch her chest, so I touched and there's a all gone. 그런데 손등에 크게 혹이 붙어 있던 게푹 꺼져 들어가고 있어요. And even the one on on the uh, on the hand and arm, they were disappearing. 여러분 이분이 암을 치료하기 위해서 항암제를 썼나요? 수술을 했나요? Tell me. The, did she use anti-cancer drugs or antibiotics or any of those when she came to our place? Just I helped her so that her body can work. That's all we did. I has been telling you repeatedly, the problem occurred in our body, our body will deal with it. How? When we receive the word of God, and according to that word, we eat, we sleep, and we, uh, according to the word, we relate with the other human beings. The word of God becomes the healing remedy. Amen. This is time that you can say Amen. <laughs> Isn't that amazing news? Last 33 years now, uh, this is the remedies that we have been applying to the uh, dying people and miraculous people all getting up, standing back up. If I have to write all those stories, then many books have to be published. I even cannot remember all those. 
And not only in Korea. 뭐 미국이고 캐나다고 러시아고 중국이고 제가 다니면서 이걸 계속 가르쳐 줍니다. I go to America and Canada, Russia, China, in many countries, and I'm keep on sharing this. 그리고 이제는 태국에까지 왔지요. Now even I came all the way to Thailand. <웃음> 잘 왔다고 생각하세요? Do you think I came here? Okay. I did I come here, right? Yes. 여러분에게도 도움이 됐으면 좋겠습니까? Do you think you may have even benefit of this health principle? 태국에도 이런 치료가 일어나는 센터가 하나 있었으면 좋겠습니까? Do you think that uh, there should be a center that teaching this kind of health principle? 아 지금 우리가 세면하는 이 센터가 너무 좋지요? This is a good facility that we are holding this meeting here. 예, 이런 센터에서 계속 이런 세미나가 진행이 되면 좋겠죠? Do you think it's necessary to have this kind of seminar continuously in this nice facility? 좋을까요? Do you think it really is needed? 그리고 하나님 모르고 병들어 죽어가는 우리 민족들에게 이 소식을 전해야 되지 않습니까? Don't you think that you need to share because many people are not knowing the word of God and they suffer and they die away. Don't you think you need to share with your people? I really hope that you, now you heard this message and how people can be healed, you need to share with your own people. This is a heavenly gospel. This should be shared to the whole world. And to do this, there got to be a witnesses who experienced this personally through the world and through their sickness, through their body, those people who actually experienced. That's why I really hope that you who came to this meeting, you will meet God first. And when you go out, the God you met and you experienced, you have to share that God with your own people. There were two uh, lunatics who were healed by Jesus. When they went back to their home, they became witnesses. Just like that, since you came here, you experience here, and then you go back to your place and you share with your people as witnesses. We did a few times of seminar here. And you know there were a lot of uh, uh, recoveries happened to the people who participated. And that story was uh, spread the other part. That's why how you came here today. And you, when you go back to your place, you need to do that role. So those people who are dying without knowing God, to those people you can share the heavenly gospel. Let us pray. Our Father who is alive. We have been just wandering around God. Even though we heard about God, even though we read about God, because we did not obey, we were heading toward death. From now on, we want to live life truly believing God and obeying God. Please help us. We pray in Jesus' name. Thank you.